Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Louise Horn and today's video is my beauty empties. Now, I haven't done an empties video for three months and so this is all the products that I have finished in June, July and August. And so yeah, there's three months worth of products and so I'm gonna try and be quick so that this video isn't really, really long. But uh, yeah, I will just pick them out one by one. The first product that I can see is from the brand Soap and Glory, and this is their Clean On Me Creamy Clarifying Shower Gel. Now, I really do like this shower gel. It is one that I have repurchased a few times. Um, I I absolutely love the smell of it. It smells really nice and clean and fresh and it's um, it's really good that it's got a little pump on it as well so that you can pump the, um, the right amount out and so that there's no wastage because sometimes if you are pouring things like shower gel sometimes you get a little bit too much that you wouldn't have used if you'd have had a little pump. So yeah, it is really good with the little pump and it leaves your skin lovely and soft. And I think that's because it has got built in body lotion as well. And so yeah, really nice shower gel and a little goes a long way and it lasts a long time. So yeah, I would definitely repurchase this. So the next item, or should I say items, are antiperspirants. And so these are the Soft and Gentle Antiperspirant 48 Hour Protection and we have got Wild Rose and Vanilla and the Lotus and Watermelon. Now I bought these because I smelt the deodorant on somebody else when they were spraying it in my house. I said to them, what deodorant was that that you've just spread because it smells beautiful and it was the wild rose and vanilla spray and this smells really really nice and so yeah I went out and I bought the um, wild rose and vanilla and I bought the lotus and watermelon and yeah both of them smell really really nice and so definitely would repurchase these they are really good at keeping that sweat at bay and they smell beautiful so yeah would repurchase these too. The next one is the Rodeo Dragon's Blood Cleansing Water. Now I used this, um, I've got to admit the first time that I saw the bottle I wasn't quite sure what to do with it and yeah I did figure out that you put the cotton pad on the top and press it and it does bring up the uh, cleansing water onto your cotton pad um, yeah I, uh, I had a little bit of trouble I've got to admit when I saw it because I didn't really know what you do I was like mm -hmm. and then yeah I noticed that you press that down but uh, anyway I've got to say I wasn't really impressed with this. It did the job, it did take my makeup off, but yeah, I don't think I would repurchase this. Um, and so, uh, yeah, that was nice to try, but yeah, I wouldn't repurchase it. Now, the next one is one of the things that is like a staple for me. I do really like the S Factor to G True Lasting Colour Oil. Now, I have got another one of these in my cupboard, but I've not been using it. I've been using different serums, um, and I have noticed that my hair has been coming out a lot more than what I am used to. And so I have, over the last few days, I have started using my oil again because, yeah, I really like this oil. I stopped using it, started using something else. And, yeah, I have noticed that there's been a bit more breakage in my hair. And so, um, yeah, I really do like this oil. Definitely would repurchase, would recommend it. Now, the next item 
is from the brand Le Men, and this is their Nordic Sea Pure Glow Cleansing Balm. Now, another one of the products that I would recommend, it is really, really nice. I love the feeling of it when you put it on your skin and then you put the water to it and then it, it really emulsifies and yeah, I love the feeling of it on your skin. It makes your skin lovely and soft. It does remove makeup. It smells beautiful as well. And so it's really nice as your first cleanse on the morning, but yeah, you can use it to remove makeup. So definitely would repurchase this and would recommend it. It is a really nice cleansing balm. So the next one, is from the brand SBR and this is the Physio Pure Cleansing Micellar Water and it's pure and mild so this is okay for people with sensitive skin. Now I was really impressed with this cleansing water. Um, I haven't bought the full size of it because I have got quite a lot of cleansing products at the moment and so um, I would repurchase it and yeah, it was really, really nice. It did an amazing job at removing my makeup. And yeah, it, it felt nice and soothing as well on my skin. And yeah, would repurchase, would recommend. It's a really nice micellar water. The next one is from Nivea. And this is their Double Effect Antiperspirant. Now, I think this was in my last empties video as well. Um, because I hadn't used this for years and the smell of it really took me back to when I used to use it when I was younger and yeah it is a nice antiperspirant but I've got to admit if I was to choose an antiperspirant between these I would go for one of these I would go for this one first then I think I'd go for this one then I'd go for this one so yeah definitely would highly recommend these two and yeah, this is a nice antiperspirant, but I prefer these. Now, the next item is from the brand Amoravica, and this is their cleansing foam. Now, I really liked this, and I liked how it made my skin feel. It seemed to make my skin less oily. I have got oily skin, and yeah, when I used this on an evening, when I woke up the following morning, I noticed that I didn't have as much oil on my skin as what I normally would, but this is really expensive and so I don't think I would pay full price. If I got one of these in a um, beauty subscription box, I would be over the moon. Uh, I would be over the moon, but um, yeah, I don't think I would purchase the full price. If I got it in like a gift set, then yeah. I would probably buy the gift set but yeah I wouldn't purchase this by itself the full price because I think it's just too expensive. Now the next items are all hair masks so we have got the Weller Nutri Enrich Invigo Deep Nourishing Mask, we have got the what brand is this? I think this Hask, is it Hask? I'm sure this is Hask and this is the Brut Rosé Inspired Deep Conditioner. Then I have got the Bamboo Oil um, Strengthening Deep Conditioner and then I've got the Palmer's Natural Fusions uh, Deeply Repairs and Boosts Hydration Hair Mask. Now out of all the four of these hair masks. If I was to put them in the order of the ones that I prefer, this is definitely number one. I really do like this mask. I actually used this last night and so it is the hair conditioning mask that I used last night and yeah, it makes my hair feel really, really nice. Now the second one I would say would be the Palmer's, um, smells beautiful, really, really nice. I really liked that hair mask so that would be my second. Now third would be this hair mask, again smelled really nice, made my hair lovely and soft. This one I would put it in fourth, I wouldn't repurchase this 
all these I would repurchase but I wouldn't repurchase this just because I didn't really like the smell of it and I think the smell of something is definitely something that would entice me to purchase something again because I do like nice scents and yeah I just didn't like this one it did make my hair feel nice but not as nice as this mask or this mask so yeah would repurchase these three but not that one the next item is from anatomicals and this is the summer strawberry body scrub i really liked this i think it smelled amazing it smells lush it's really really nice and I quite liked the um, the scrubbiness of it. It wasn't too scrubby, and yeah, it's it's a really nice body scrub. And so I would repurchase this because it smells amazing and it makes your skin feel really nice and um, soft and smooth after you've used it. So yeah, I would repurchase that. Now the next item is this what's in it for me walnut shell shower scrub now um this one again it smells really nice but out of two i would definitely repurchase this one further this one they were both nice um and this one has got orange and jasmine flower in the, the shower scrub um but yeah i preferred this one the next item is some foundation and this is from Rimmel and it is their breathable lasting finish foundation and this is in the shade 201 classic beige this was my favorite foundation I was gutted when I used it all now um, I got this from Amazon subscribe and serve and I think I paid something like £2.50 for it, it was a bargain and I would repurchase this and it is a cheap foundation, I think it's something like £8, something like that for the uh, full price but because I got it so cheap the very first time, part of me is like I don't really want to be paying £8 for a foundation that I got for £2.50 but it's a really really nice foundation i found that it suited my skin and yet yeah, other foundations i found that it comes off off of my nose but this one didn't and um, yeah it was a really nice foundation so uh, definitely would repurchase even at eight pound it just makes me think oh, i don't want to be paying eight pounds but i would pay it but just it just makes me think I got it for £2.50 and so I'd really prefer to spend £2.50 on it but I would pay £8. I don't know if that's how much it is, I think it is £8 but yeah, really nice foundation, I really liked it. Now the next item is from the brand Nivea and this is one of my, um, my things that I would buy every single month and it is a staple that's the word that I was thinking of. It is a staple of mine. This is the Daily Essentials Double Effect Eye Makeup Remover. I remove my makeup with this all the time. I really like it. It is one of those that have got two. Um, it's got, I think, oil in it and water and you shake it up. And yeah, it is really good at removing eye makeup and it is good for sensitive eyes as well. So uh, definitely continue to repurchase this all the time definitely would recommend it. The next item, well it's a bit of a set <laughs> and it is from the brand Liz Earl and this is the hot cloth cleanser, the instant boost skin tonic and the light moisturiser really liked the hot cloth cleanser i did get a cloth with it as well and yeah i um i have since using this this was the first hot cloth cleanser that i ever used and since i've used this i have started using other hot cloth cleansers and i've got to admit i've got the hot cloth cleanser from 
Aldi and I prefer that to this and so I wouldn't repurchase this hot cloth cleanser because I do really like my um, La Cura hot cloth cleanser with vitamin C but it was a nice hot cloth cleanser. Now the um, skin tonic it was really nice, really soothing. I did like using this. Now, I've not really been into putting toner on my skin and I have recently been putting toner on after I've cleansed and then following it with moisturiser. And so, yes, I really liked this. I would purchase this again, but I, I am experimenting a little bit with toners. I've bought a few different toners recently and I've been using a few different ones and so yeah I really like this because it was nice and soothing and um, it has got vitamin E in here which makes your skin lovely and soft and so yeah I would repurchase this. Now the light moisturiser, this is specifically for oily combination skin, it was a nice moisturiser but I have tried better moisturisers for my skin and so I wouldn't repurchase this um, light moisturiser but um, as a little gift set it was really nice and I'm really glad that I got the little miniature size set so that I could try all three products and see what I thought of them and um, and yeah really really nice products but um, yeah there are other products out there that I think is better and uh, but I would repurchase the uh, tonic. Now the next item is from the brand Chlorine and this is their anti-pollution shampooing detoxing shampoo. Now this smelled really minty. It's a nice minty smell but it didn't really lather up very well. Now, I like my shampoos to lather up. It feels like it's working when I get a little bit of lather in it when I'm massaging it into my scalp. Now, this one didn't lather up and so I wouldn't repurchase this shampoo. It was a nice shampoo, but yeah, I just wouldn't repurchase it because it didn't really lather up as much as I would like my shampoo to lather up. Now the next item is from the brand It's Skin. This is their Power 10 Formula VC Effector and this is the vitamin C derivatives and yeah it is a it's a serum, I think. I used it like a serum, so I put this on after I've cleansed, after I've toned, and I would put a little bit of this serum on my skin. It was a really nice serum, and um, I would I would repurchase this. I did actually go in and have a look to see how much this was, and I can't remember exactly how much it was, but I did think that it was reasonable and that I would purchase it, and so, yeah, a really nice vitamin C serum. Now the next item is from the brand Origins and this is their Mega Mushroom Relief and Resilience and this is their Soothing Treatment Lotion. Now I had to look this up to see exactly what it was and I used it as a toner. Now um, I wasn't too keen on the smell and it was a nice soothing toner. I did like it when I applied it to my face. I did use this when I was using some BHA on my face and I used it a little bit too much and it did make my skin react and so I used it during the time that my skin felt quite sensitive and it was really nice at soothing my skin. Now would I buy the full size of this? No, I don't think I would. I do like the toner, but I'm just not a lover of that smell. And so, um, yeah, it was nice soothing toner, but I wouldn't repurchase it. Now, the next item is from the brand Glam Glow, and this is their 
Water Burst Hydrated Glow Moisturiser. Now this I really liked. It was like a gel type consistency and then when you put it on your face it sort of like melted into your skin and a little bit like it went into a water texture and the smell of it's lovely. I really, really enjoyed using this moisturiser and um, yeah, I again went online to see how much, how much it was full price and yeah, I would purchase this full price and I think it would be a really nice summertime moisturiser because it was a nice gel consistency and quite lightweight on the skin. And so yeah, definitely would repurchase this. It was um, it was really, really nice. Now the next item is from the brand Cordelay and this is the Vino Pure. Um, and this is their skin purifying toner. Now, I really liked this. It was quite soothing. I liked the smell of this toner. Um, yeah, it's, it is a nice toner. And so um, if I was to choose between these two toners, definitely would go for this one. And so, uh, yeah, I would repurchase this. Now, I have just bought the um, Look Fantastic Advent Calendar and I noticed that it has got... A, um, a little, I think it might be 30ml of this toner, so yeah, I, uh, I'm i really looking forward to getting my advent calendar and, and trying all the different products, and so uh, yeah, really do like that toner. Now the next item is another foundation, and this is Lancome's Taint Idol Ultra Wear. Now I got this in shade 023. And I really liked this uh, foundation. I um, I would buy the full size. Isn't it strange that this foundation that's Rimmel, and I really, really enjoyed it, is £8. And I'm like, I mm, don't really want to spend £8 when I got it for £2.50. And this one, I can't remember how much the full size was but it's, it's probably like £35, something like that. And yeah, I would purchase the full size of this and I probably liked them both the same. But um, yeah, it's, it's a bit weird how I'm like, mm, do I really want to spend £8 on a foundation that I only paid £2.50 for? But yeah, really, really nice foundations, both of them. I would definitely repurchase. Now, the uh, next item is from the brand BioEffect, and this is their EGF serum. Now, I can remember when I got this from, I think it was Look Fantastic, I did say, what a tiny little sample. And I was so impressed with this serum. I really liked how the little dropper worked and that when you dropped the serum onto your skin, it was just like a little ball of serum and it was quite nice and thick and then when you put it on your face it spreads really really easily and you only need a tiny little bit and so this serum lasted me quite a while to say that it's only um i think is it is it five mils three mil to say that it's only three mil it did last me a long time and it was really, really nice. Now, would I pay the full price for this? No, I don't think I would because it is mega expensive, but I really enjoyed it and I would quite happily get one of these in my subscription boxes. Now, again, Look Fantastic is putting this in their advent calendar, so I will be getting one of these again, so I'm really chuffed about that. But uh, yeah, really, really nice serum. But it's just unfortunate that it's so expensive. So the next two items, and the last two items, are perfumes. Now, I've got the Angel O Crossy, I think it is. I don't know, because the writings come off of it. But this was absolutely beautiful. I would definitely purchase the full size of this because it smells lovely. Really, really amazing. 
oh yeah it smells really nice i went to the hairdressers when i uh, put this on and my hairdresser asked me what perfume i had and she um i i showed her the perfume on my phone and she says to me can i just take a photo of that because i really want to buy that perfume because it smells lovely and so yeah really really nice perfume would love a full size of this now this one is from the brand dupe and this is their wow and again really nice perfume i would buy the full size of this perfume but i prefer this one this one is really really nice and this one's nice but prefer this one and uh yeah actually there is a tiny little bit left in that let me let me smells so nice really really nice um would love love a full size of that but anyway that is the end of my beauty empties i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a big thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed yet to my channel then please do subscribe and uh, thank you ever so much for watching and hopefully i will see you in my next video all right then thank you bye